Okay, let's go over real quickly how to use Ajax, who is to find a domain name. This is useful for uh, searching and brainstorming for domain ideas because you can very quickly on the fly search for a domain name. And you see right here, uh, this is showing that it's not, a, not available, but I, I'm really quickly, google.com is not available. Google is really cool. It.com is available. So um, that quickly you can search for domain names. And that's different than these other uh, domain search places because it takes a really long time. You have to click submit and then go back and forth. So this is a really quick way to search for a domain name. What I want to show you is um, down here in the right, I'm I can choose which extensions I want to search for. We've got .com, .net, and .org selected here. You can blow away one of those there. And over here, you'll see that there no longer is the dot, uh, .net showing up. Um, I recommend that you, number one, try to go for a .com domain name. And number two would be a .org. Um, it stands for organization. Uh, .com is commercial. .org is organization. And uh, .net, I don't, it's probably third because according to uh, a lot of statistics that I've seen, the .com is by far and away the number one uh, favored uh, domain name. It's easiest for people to remember. So that's the one you want to go with first. And .org is probably actually second and then .net following up in third. I don't really recommend that you try to get one of these other domain names unless um, you uh, are just trying to extend your brand and you know you get a really good domain name for your brand and you just want to make sure that nobody else gets um, the other related domain names. Um, that's the only situation where I'd really recommend that you get a .biz or a .info or a .us um, domain name. So when you're using this tool, just click in here and like I showed you, you can search uh, for the different domain names. And one thing that you can do is actually add these to your favorites. So um, not only do you have a little heart right down here where you can add in uh, uh, there, you say, say that you wanna add that to your favorites. So you hit the little heart and now it's over here in your favorites, okay? Um, and if you're just trying to brainstorm ideas, Google is really not, you know, not cool. Uh, so I added that in. And now you've got these three different options. You can also hard it out here and add it to the favorites. And so this is really good for brainstorming potential domain names uh, because now you can click um, back and forth between different domain names and it's going to show you whether or not they were available over here. And um, that way you can brainstorm. And then when you're ready to buy, you just click right here um, to register with GoDaddy. And you'll see here, it's going to take you through the option to go ahead and buy it through GoDaddy. Um, of course, you'll need to provide your uh, billing information and all that good stuff. Um, if you don't already have an account set up with GoDaddy. Um, so that's that part of it. Buying a new domain name. I also want to go over uh, how you can use the whois function here. So this is all can also be helpful if you're trying to uh, buy a domain name that um, is already taken. So, um, for instance, Sandy uh, Beach Tunes. Let's try my website, SMB Web Guru. Okay, and we see that smbwebguru.com is not available. Okay, well, if, if, if there wasn't a website there, which we, we can click here on Go to Website, and we see that there is indeed a website already there, so... Okay, somebody's already running a site here, but let's just pretend for a moment that um, SMB Web Guru 
um, is not available and that also it didn't have a website here when I clicked go to website um, it may give me like a parked domain page or uh, it may just give you know nothing at all or a under construction um, if that was the case you could go over here to this who is and that'll pop up this little window here and here I can see a lot of information about the domain names so uh, here's the domain here's the, who the, the domain has been registered through um, and we can also see the date when that was registered now if we scroll down we can see the information we're really trying to see here is who owns this domain name so here you've actually got an email address and a phone number that you can call and inquire um, as to whether or not the owner of the domain name wants to would like to sell it um, maybe to you so uh, you can just inquire with them and, and give it a shot hey do you want to sell your domain name if not it's cool but uh, that's another little tool that you can use when you're searching for a domain name so both of these combined are uh, you know the who is and then also just the search for a domain name uh, you can do it all right here and then you just buy through GoDaddy so um, hope that you found this interesting and hopefully this will help ease the pain of trying to buy and research domain names